Good morning, everyone. I am looking a little fresher than I was yesterday evening. It's Thursday. I feel like I'm a day behind, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I woke up feeling like it was Wednesday, which is always a little bit scary, but that's okay. Um, today, as I mentioned, is another busy day. Um, I'm about to do school drop off. Um, I've got some work to do, to do on a client's website this morning. Um, then I am recording a podcast, which is fantastic. One of my favorite things to do. Um, I've then got a client coming to my home. Um, so I do have a home office. And when we closed the Ashburton office, um, I started meeting some clients in person. Um, it didn't. It doesn't happen very often as we move most of our meetings and bits and pieces over Zoom and online. Um, but that does happen sometime. <laughs> so I've got a client coming um, to me here today um, to do a strategy session um, and look at what she had planned last year and where she needs to be this year. Um, and then what have I got after that? I've got to go pick up my son, take him to tennis wait with him at tennis, race home, change for dinner, dinner with the girls for a friend's 40th. So wish me luck. It's another run around kind of day. I'll try, try and take you along for the race around journey, but we will see how we go. Have a great day. So I'm on the road. I've got my keep cup. Um, I know I'm not going to get time to make a coffee at home. Um, this little sidekick always has a little sleep whilst I do school drop off and all that sort of stuff um but yeah if you haven't seen these keep cups um we've been promoting them because they're on sale half price but um yeah takeaway coffee about to go to the post office to drop off a parcel and then it's time to get stuck into the into the day so one thing about any day is that you need to be okay with being flexible. Um, the guest that I am meant to be recording with today, being Thursday, has, um, we've just had some tech issues and the reality is when um, you're trying to record a podcast, um, you've got myself here, um, the guests in a different location, sometimes they're not um, experienced with technology, they don't normally do podcasts, they haven't done all that sort of stuff before. Um, so it can be a little bit tricky. We have had to reschedule to tomorrow morning, so that's two podcasts that I'm going to be recording tomorrow, so I'm going to really need to practice my vocals and all that stuff. Um, but it means that I've now got a little bit of a gap this morning to review some other things and my day won't be quite as go, go, go which is kind of nice. Might be able to stop for some lunch and maybe a walk, though it's a pretty hot day today. Anyway, better get back to it. But um, yeah, sometimes things don't go to plan. So one of the services that we personally use um, when we need to get stuff to um, clients um, at my front door um, is Uber parcel delivery. So Uber drivers um, or through the Uber um, car app, that you would use to get an Uber ride, um, you can send parcels. So I've got this little box of brochures that needs to go out to a client. I'm not gonna be able to drop it off myself. Um, and because we don't do a lot of courier stuff, we often um, can just pop a box in a courier, um, in an Uber. So I'm just at the front waiting for them to arrive um, so I can get this out to this client. And um, yeah, one less thing for me to do. And um, they can then get on their way to do the things that they need to do. Easy done. Uber's just picked up the parcel. I can go back inside, gather up the puppy who decided to follow me and um, back to my desk. So nice and easy because um, those brochures need to go out to that client as soon as possible so they can kind of get a few things done. So the fact that they're gonna get them within the hour is fantastic. So you know how I was saying earlier how things don't always go to plan and sometimes you have to be flexible. As I said, podcast got rescheduled, so I had a bit of a gap. And then I got Uber stuff sorted, so brochures have arrived to the client. Great, tick, done and dusted. Um, but funnily enough, that little gap that I thought I had um, got filled up pretty quickly. So I received a call from a client who I hadn't scheduled any work for today. Um, they have a contract and tender that they are in the process of working on and they just want to make sure that everything online for them is looking really professional. So we are now 
fitting in a website audit um, and just a kind of online audit. So going through their website, going through their LinkedIn profiles and just doing a quick check of proofreading, making sure everything's up to date. Um, so they ensure that they're representing themselves as professionally and accurately as possible online. Funnily enough, I was looking at that going, oh, I can squeeze in a little bit of time, but I've still got other things to do. Because as I said, I had a client that was meant to be coming to meet with me, but that has also been rescheduled. Um, the joys of being a working mum, she is a working mum and she's had one of her kids fall sick. And in this time of COVID with everything else, the moment we get any wind of a sickness, um, we all need to be extra careful. So she is rescheduling, which means I can fit this other client in. It's all good. Um, it's about being flexible and just knowing that time management is really important, making really clear, um, you know, paths ahead and plans ahead for what needs to be done. Um, so I've spoken to the client who called me last minute and just said, yep, I can do this, this, this and that. And we'll make sure it's done over the next 48 hours for them. But yeah, it's all good. Still at my desk, still chipping away, but working on very different things to what I had planned for the day. So I am in no way a LinkedIn expert. There are definitely some experts out there, but I wanted to show you guys a few things that I kind of am looking for. I'm going to use my profile as an example, but the things I'm looking for for this client. Um, so I want to make sure that this particular line under their name, so my name, my photo, all that stuff, all the visual stuff needs to be on track, need to be linked to the right business. So in this case, yep, that's that's who I am and, and the business I, I'm associated to. So be associated to because I own it or I work for the company. Um, this tagline is really important. So this is where you're either going to put your, your business title. Um, so if you're a project manager or a CEO or whatever, um, I like to be a bit more collaborative um, or a little bit more creative um, with what I write. So speaker, facilitator, consultant, life assistant and podcast host, um, all the things that I try and fit in. Um, this sort of stuff. So I am viewing this as my, da, 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 I'm just trying to see. I am viewing this currently as me as editor. So um, as you can see, there's services that I offer um, and whatever else. Um, so then I personally have this document, which is a, a little bit about me as a speaker and media um, uh, links. So if anyone wants to see the media that I've done, um, this activity just shows the things I've commented on and whatever else. And then experience is also really important. So if you are uh, wearing multiple hats, um, it's definitely good to make sure that they're all updated. So I am still the founder of Organized Curate Design. I am still the podcast host for She Inspires Me, um, but I'm no longer um, part of the UN Women um, Committee. So that has been closed off from February last year. I'm no longer the general manager of Event Aid. Um, so that's been closed off as well and I'm no longer the event manager for Step Back Think um, which was a role that I did um, quite some time ago in 2014. There's obviously more experience back there as well but you want to make sure this is kind of this part is essentially what you would have on your resume um, and then any education so short courses that sort of stuff any volunteer experience. So as you guys know, I do some work with Project Gen Z, but I've also worked with Beacon Foundation to be one of their My Road mentors, which is also working with high school students. Um, the I've worked with World Vision to be a host for one of their fundraising events skills so definitely making sure that you've got um, all the different skills that you have event management has obviously been a key one for me um, but have a look and you can always add new skills and it prompts you there as well um, interest are just things that i've personally followed i don't spend a lot of time on linkedin but this kind of information is incredibly important so if you are not sure have a quick look um, do a quick audit make sure everything's correct and accurate and that this is exactly what I'm going to be doing for all the different company profiles um, for this client that I am doing an audit for. So I am at my second last stop of the day. Um, currently sitting at tennis, watching Harry in the lesson, an hour. Um, then I'm gonna race home, get changed, go to dinner, um, and it'll be nice to catch up with some friends and have dinner at place we haven't tried before in um, Japanese restaurant in our local area so that would be very very nice but um, yeah so that's 
made done and dusted I ended up using that time um, that kind of space that got made in my calendar to work on a website and have a meeting with a client for about three hours so that was really really good because that's the stuff that sometimes I'll have to make time for so I'm really looking forward to seeing their website go live and, um, and we're much closer to that now because um, I had that time which is great um, so yeah that was me today um, we'll see how Harry goes with his tennis lesson and I'm quickly racing home to go get changed quick little video in the car before I head in for dinner it's been a long one um we're almost there home stretch tomorrow is friday i um went home freshened up you gotta love how much a flashy earring some bright color bit of lippy brushed my hair <laughs> um, how much that can kind of freshen you up it's still pretty hot out here in melbourne um it's like 35 degrees um at what, seven o'clock at night um so i did kind of have to spray and spritz and make myself not stinky from sweating all day um but i'm gonna go enjoy dinner uh for a friend's 40th birthday celebrations with a bunch of other beautiful women can't wait it's been a while since we all had a chat um without the kids around so that is me signing off for today i will see you guys tomorrow morning busy day running errands doing work, catching up with someone to do some shared content, two podcasts tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I will check in in the morning and share my Friday with you then. Hey everyone, I am in the process of doing just that thing where you try to get ready for the thing that you need to do at two o'clock because you've got this small window of time. So I've just done my hair and makeup. Um, I'm still kind of in semi-casual clothes as I need to take Louis to the vet this morning to get his vaccinations. I then need to come back, do two podcasts, jump in the car, head down to see my good friend, Tony Newman, who is filming some content today and interviewing me for her, um, like, it, like interview series that she's launching called How Fabulous. And so I'm heading down to her place, hence the hair and makeup, because that's a video, um, you know, video based content. So that's where I'm at today. Um, I better get my shoes on and get Louie to the vet and then I need to decide what I'm gonna wear. Definitely gonna wear this beautiful pink color, which is why I've gone with like a nice pink um, eyeshadow and a cute little updo because I haven't washed my hair. <laughs> um, I'll take you guys along for the journey as I, um, you know, do my podcasting and, and whatever else. Can't take you to the vet due to restrictions, but who needs to see that? And um, definitely we'll be filming some stuff when I'm with Tony later today. So I'm back home. Louis was fine at the vet, which is always nice to see. Um, I don't know, um, but one of the things about owning a pet is that I, you know, they can't talk to you. So sometimes I get really paranoid when I have to take him to checkups and stuff. I wanna know that he's doing well and he's growing. Um, well and he's healthy and all that sort of stuff so vaccinations are obviously really important um, making sure that they're all up to date um, he's just sitting here having chewing on something because that's standard for Louis um, and enjoying all the intentions so the um, the people at the vet wanted to take a photo of him for their Facebook page and I was like oh that's so cute so yeah but um, I am just sitting enjoying morning coffee i had a terrible night's sleep last night because it was really hot and all the hot air was trapped in the house and i couldn't get to sleep so coffee is needed big glass of water then off to podcast number one and then i will have a short break podcast number two jump in the car go see tony newman but yep that's where i'm at so far in this last busy day of this busy week so guys, I just wanted to show you what our um, setup is like once I close the door. Um, so it's obviously not a very big space. Um, I've got the microphone nice and close to my mouth. And as you can see here, um, yeah, so I've got the laptop ready to go. Sometimes, get, sometimes my guests don't use the video element. Um, maybe they don't have a camera, maybe they don't want to be on video. We don't record it anyway, so that's fine. I've got my notes here. 
Um, so I've got the intro for the guest, I've got my questions, um, and then I write down, you know, timestamps for anything interesting they've said that I want to make sure that I go back and listen to that. Um, and as you can see, soundproofing is pretty cool in here. So yeah. So when um, the guest logs in, this screen will split, um, similar to Zoom. Um, most of us have done some kind of Zoom call in the last 12 months. Um, so this, the screen will split into two. I'll be on one side and the guest will be on the other. Um, today I've decided to use these Apple um, older Apple um, headphones into my microphone, mainly because I would normally have my noise, noise cancelling headphones on, um, but I've just done my hair and that's not going to work for me. So <laughs> it's very much superficial as to why I'm not doing it. I don't really need the headphones anyway. It's really just so um, I can kind of block out some of that sound. Um, yeah, so ready to go. I'm ready to get sorted and get this episode recorded. This is going to be the third time I've tried to record it with this particular guest. So fingers crossed we can get there. We've had... Um, scheduling issues tech issues the works this is the guest that i was meant to interview yesterday so i'm looking forward to um interviewing her today and then i'm crossing my fingers that the guest for tomorrow's episode um for the bleh, i'm really struggling to talk today guys um so the guest that i'm recording with next um which is meant to be straight after this um i'm hoping that her scheduling and everything i haven't heard from her so Fingers crossed schedule goes to plan today because it is running really tight. All right, better get to it. See you guys soon. Podcast one, done and dusted. Um, I'm just head headed downstairs to have a quick bite to eat in between this and podcast number two. I'm currently keeping an eye on the news as here in Melbourne. Um, we might be going into another lockdown, but we'll wait and see. Luckily... Everything was set up last year for me to keep doing all the things I do from home. So I'll still be able to record, I'll still be able to work, I'll still be able to do all the things. Um, yeah, fingers crossed for some good news once I come out of the next hour or so of interviews with um, my next guest for the podcast. So you can never really predict how things are going to go. Friday, what time is it? Nearly two o'clock. And we have just found out that we are going into five days worth of restrictions, similar to what we did in Melbourne um, in stage four restrictions. So I am still going to meet with Tony. Um, we're going to get this video work done. I'm going to go home and just see what we need from the supermarket. I don't think we need anything. I'm going to hang with this guy and not go to dog training, not do all the things. I was originally only going to film for you guys um, until today, end of today, Friday, but I might take you into the weekend now that it is the weekend of the start of a five-day lockdown. See how we go. But let's go see Tony Newman and let's do some fun content creation. <laughs> a week in the life of Caroline has to have the incredible Tony Newman and this beautiful home. What are we doing, Tony? What are we gonna do today? Have a chat? You can say, come on, tell us. Just talking, just talking. Just, just having a chat. Just having a chat. How fabulous. How fabulous. So we will make sure that we share all of Tony's stuff in all of us, like all of our stuff. But- did we, get the, um, did we get the animals in though? The animals are here. I'm hoping that Louie's not gonna chew some plants. Woo, how cool is this name for a cat? Woo is like, what is that person thing, Fluffy? What is the deal? And Louise just probably going to, yeah, they do match though. Yeah, definitely. Waiting for Louie to spill something or break something, but we'll see. Anyway, we're gonna get started. Recording is done. What do you think, mate? Is it time to go home? Time to go home and do five days of lockdown. Let's do this. Bit of lockdown comfort food. I had an early lunch that I scoffed before podcast interviews. So some chips and a frozen Coke, it is. <sighs> I'm really tired. It's been a really big week and lockdown for five days is one of those funny ones where in theory, we know what we're doing. We've done this far longer than five days. Still waiting to hear back from school if they're doing remote learning or if 
they're just giving the kids a day off. I've still got to get back on my laptop. I've got to go listen to the audio from the podcast. I've got a bit to do, but a lot of my stuff for the next few days has been cancelled. So maybe I've got a bit more time and that's okay. For now, it's a bit of a warm afternoon. I'm going to enjoy my frozen Coke and get back to my laptop when I can be bothered. Because for now, I just need a two second break. Hey everyone, I've been super quiet this morning. Um, I say this morning, I know that you guys don't have a timestamp on um, everything I'm doing over this a week in the life of, but um, it's after two o'clock. I don't know exactly what time it is. I've literally just had a shower. With the announcement yesterday of the five day lockdown, I've had a little bit of that emotional roller coaster, which is kind of to be expected. Um, not necessarily for me personally. Um, life, as I mentioned yesterday, is pretty much business as usual. Kids are going to be at home and we'll be doing some learning. So but it's only a couple of days and we can handle that. And they're really, really good. Um, I'm very fortunate that my, my kids are very independent and probably won't need too much from me. And my schedule isn't jam packed Monday to Wednesday, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd take a bit of a slow start. So woke up at seven like normal, but then kind of went, nah, I think I can go back to sleep. So at nine, I went back to sleep for about an hour and a half, which was amazing because I obviously needed to catch up on some sleep. Um, I've had a pretty quiet day at home. My husband and I have agreed that the next, you know, since last night and until the end of tonight, we're going to do the full lockdown indulgent um, thing that we probably did early last year. So um, we're going to, well, last night we just had homemade pizzas and um, today we had chips and gravy um, and a chip and gravy sandwich for lunch, which was so good. Um, but yeah, not something I would eat very often. Um, and then tonight we're going to get some takeaway Chinese from our local Chinese place. It is Chinese New Year, so that is a nice way of kind of incorporating that into our weekend. Games night, do all the things we did in the last lockdown that we haven't really done for a while. Um, the boys have gone out and bought all the junk food. There's probably about four or five packets of chips and chocolate and God knows what on our kitchen bench at the moment. But before we do that, I'm about to go for a walk. So I'm gonna go take the dogs for a walk, try and get some movement in, seeing I am and have well and truly been in sloth mode for most of today. <laughs> so one of the things about being back in restrictions means that we are back to walking with masks on, which is a bit annoying, but that's okay. Um, we've actually got this really beautiful park. Louis here, Spike's here. It's not a super hot day, so it's a nice day to be walking, but hoping that this walk will set us up for all the junk food we're about to eat. Let's see how we go. Okay. So it's organized chaos. Here. How do we move? We are going to play oh, yeah. a board game. We haven't done that since um, COVID restrictions last time. Oh. We're going to play this game called Beat the Parents. It's going to end in an argument. I can see it coming already. Monopoly didn't, so this might not be <laughs> We'll see how no, we go. Monopoly ended so, the super duper hard though. They're at the last it's point. It's because me and Harry talk about this. Very silly, silly game. Yeah. Do you sweat to keep warm, cool down, or get wet? Wait, can you say the answer? Only now? Harry can answer. Do you sweat to keep warm, cool down, or get wet? Think about, oh. think about when and why you sweat. Ten, nine, Eight. To go down. <laughs> Done. You guys win. Look at you the, the parents. Look, look, look at the difference. Second day of lockdown, but last day of a week in the life of Caroline. Um, as you can see, I'm a little bit fresher than I was yesterday. Um, I've straightened my hair. It was a bit of a fluff ball, so I was like, better kind of think about what I look like today, even though it's Sunday. Um, but yeah, I am going to do a few work things today. Um, Friday was a bit of a weird day, so a few things have crept into today. And to be honest, I know that it's Sunday and I've probably got enough time this week, especially because we're in lockdown. But um, there's one thing that I promised a client that would be done by Monday, so I'm definitely going to do that. And the other thing is something for the podcast that I really enjoy. So it's a nice way of spending a little bit of time on Sunday. Um, it's not like I'm not gonna be able to spend time with the family during the week. So, um, and there's less commuting and all the things um, over the next few days. I'm really conscious as well that the kids are doing some version of remote learning. Um, so I need to get my head around that. 
um, and just in case they need a bit of support from me I want to make sure my schedule isn't too jam-packed um, but yeah I'll show you what Sunday in my house looks like a little bit because there's obviously things we do that I haven't been able to do so normally I take Louis to dog training because trying to get that dog under control um but we can't go because it's cancelled um so sundays normally consist of a, a little a few chores um we get our groceries delivered on a sunday because i do meal planning but i can talk you guys through that um and a few other things so uh yeah let's get stuck into sunday so one of the things that's really great about having a home office and working for yourself is um the fact that i can just mix up my schedule a little bit so as I've mentioned over the last two or three days since we learned about the new lockdown, um, I've kind of shifted my schedule a little bit. So the fact that I can come in to this space, which is really only used for work um, and remote learning. So Harry's got a space next to me here that he um, does his homework from um, and he will be kind of sitting in here as of tomorrow, um, catching up on whatever they need him to do. But yeah, so I'm going to sit here, I'm going to listen to the audio from the two podcasts I recorded on Friday um, in this nice quiet space. I can have a look at what I need to do for this other client. Um, we're doing an online audit for them. So I would have mentioned a few days ago when my schedule got mucked up in the sense that uh, people had to reschedule and things changed and whatever else but then this other client kind of called last minute and needed a few things and we were able to squeeze that in so the bulk of that work's been done I need to review it and just check and I've got the back end access to their website so I'm going to go in make some just some basic changes um, they're going for a big tender at the moment and they just want to make sure that everything is looking really nice and clean and fresh um, so as the people that they're tendering to are reviewing all of their digital platforms that everything is consistent so that is what I'm going to be checking for them before Monday morning starts um, yeah so having this space is really nice um, I am quickly getting a few things done I'll take a break um, and do lunch and chores and all the Sunday things and go for a walk later. I'll show you my beautiful indoor plants because um, that is something I do every Sunday. Um, I go around the house and I check all the plants and I'll show you the little devices that I've picked up on eBay and things that I've um, managed to pick up along the way as I've taught myself how to keep indoor plants alive. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to get stuck into now. and. I will show you um, the systems that we use for our podcasting or the back end of our podcasting. You've seen the studio. Now it's time to show you what I do behind the scenes. So on Friday, I showed you guys um, what the studio looks like and what it looks like when I sit in there and record. Um, so Squadcast is the uh, podcast platform that we use um, so what it does is it records um, this person hasn't um, Sophie hasn't written her name as she's entered the platform but um, it records uh, a file for her a file for me and then I can mix them together which um, make this merged file um, so the good thing about that is I can grab that and um, grab the links and whatever else and send that through to Alana so what we then do um, is we use Asana for all of our business stuff um, but yeah so we go through and there's a whole heap of kind of steps to, to do the podcast or create the podcast the way we do so I have to choose a title I have to write a brief description I have to have audio notes so if there's any editing notes for Alana I make sure that she's done those she I've noted them there show notes so in this case I've got um, the company that Sophie runs um, their social media handles that sort of stuff so we can make sure those details are in the show notes what date we're scheduling the episode for um, and we set these kind of dates and reminders um, and then we create a sound bite. So what I'll be doing is listening to the audio here in Squadcast. I'll get the exact timestamp for what I want to grab. And then Alana turns it into a sound bite that we share on social media. Um, there's a photo of our um, beautiful guest, which we share on socials as well. I upload um, the... I upload all of the podcast episodes to my website, um, which is just loading now. So we've got, I've got, this is my 
Caroline Bruni website, which some of you guys might have seen before. Um, and yeah, so we've got, I've got a page for podcast here and um, we've got season two here. So all of the episodes get uploaded onto here. So if people want to listen to them via the website, they can do that there as well. So that's on the list of things. Um, and then a written quote, which is just something I've grabbed. So that's how I kind of keep on top of all the bits and pieces that need to happen post website re um, podcast recording. Um, as you can see, some of the things I already kind of allocated to Alana on Friday after I um, interviewed Sophie because her episode is coming out this coming Wednesday. Um, and then the rest, uh, these tasks are what I need to work on now. I also need to do that for um, Maya C, who I also interviewed on Friday. So I'm going to get stuck into those and then we are good to go until episode nine. We've only released four. So that means we are well and truly on track to be ahead for podcast releasing. So I'm sure you guys have realized that this guy features quite heavily in my life and in my daily routines. We have just had a bit of play outside and now he's starting to wind down. Still insists on trying to chew my hands. But it is the time on a Sunday where we have a bit of chill time before I cook dinner and we sit down as a family and make plans for the week and all that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna maybe listen to a podcast, read a magazine, do something, hurry and my husband are outside playing tennis. Eldest son is off doing something else, but um, yeah, it's time to chill out. So that is me done for a week in the life of, um, thank you for anyone who's actually watched this from Monday to Sunday. Um, I am going to enjoy dinner with my family and we will see you next time for whatever we decide to create in our next video for Organised Curate Design.